almost like an interdisciplinary research where I sort of um, look at the confluence between art and science um, and design kind of from a marine biology perspective. So I look at artificial coral reefs and artists who are working um, you know, alongside engineers and designers to kind of create new habitats in, in coastal environments in kind of artificial ways. no matter what discipline we're in, we kind of get very used to the modes of thinking that we, you know, have been taught and like, you know, the way that we kind of are entrenched and, you know, something like the nature culture dichotomy, which is something I focus on a lot in my work. You know, philosophy has really informed scientific practice mm -hmm. as a result of this dichotomy and it's something that now we need to kind of break down and use art and, and kind of creative innovation and design thinking to kind of change these you know, these kind of methods of thinking because they're starting to become problematic. In terms of the Great Barrier Reef, there's, you know, again, it's, it comes down to this dotted line of the marine park sanctuary. Like, you know, that's what the government wants to prioritise. You can't go there, can't touch it, can't intervene. But, you know, in terms of um, some of the, like, you know, collaborations and, like, creative innovations that are going on, I think that there are possibilities in other countries, like, you know, the Maldives and the, like, you know, Kiribati and like a lot of these kind of Pacific Island nations are really, they're the ones being affected by climate change really significantly already. <laughs> and they're the people who are really willing to change and embrace the kind of interdisciplinary collaborative projects that are going to try and bring a bit more biodiversity to the area and that sort of thing. So I mean yeah. like, yeah, in terms of Australia, it's, it's really difficult to do and that sucks. Buzzwords. Um, symbiosis and uh, I don't know, future thinking, maybe, yeah.